Hi, my name is Becky and today I'm going to show you how to make a little swim fish swimming in a bottle toy. The things you will need are an empty bottle, a blob of blue tack like this, some normal drinking straws and also a pair of scissors. So you begin by taking a drinking straw, these ones with a bend in are ideal, bend it over, get your scissors and chop it off to the same length, like that. Then get some blue tack and plug up the ends. And so you get something like one of these. Now, you need to get your water ready. Warm water is the best for this. And then if you place your straw into the water and see where it bobs. Now, this one's poking out the water quite a lot. This one sinks straight to the bottom. Neither of those is that good. What we want is one just like this, where there's just a tiny little bit poking out from the top of the water. So if you need, if you get one like this, you need to add a little bit more blue tack. If you get one like this, you need to take some away. When you've managed to get your straw to bob where it needs to bob, take it out of the water and pour the water into the bottle and cause a massive mess and annoy your mom. Ah. You may want to do this in the kitchen or a bathroom. OK, when you've transferred the water over, you then need to put your straw inside the water, inside the bottle, squidge them in. and then try and get them to go upside down again. There we go. Screw the lid on. And now this is the cool bit. When you squeeze the bottle, you'll find that the fish sinks. And then when you let go, it rises back to the top. The reason this works is because of a principle called buoyancy. Now, an object is buoyant, or floats, if the volume of water it displaces is greater than the weight of the object itself. So, when I press squeeze the bottle, the pressure I'm making reduces the size of the air inside that straw, which means that there's no longer enough volume to counteract the weight of the blue tack, and so the straw and the fish sink. When I let go, the air inside the straw can expand again, which means it's big enough to counteract the weight of the blue tack holding it down, and so it will float back to the top of the bottle. In real life fish, they've got a little air sac inside of them, and they do the very same thing with their muscles. So they squeeze their muscles to make their air sac small if they want to sink, and then they expand out those muscles and their air sac will grow if they want to float. And we use a very similar principle when we design our submarines so that they can float and sink except we add water to tanks and blow water out of tanks, so it would be more like adding a bit more blue tack rather than reducing the size of the air. <laughs>